Hey everybody, welcome to Off Grid with Brad and Kelly. Today we're talking wind and solar power generation. We've teamed up with Iron Edison Battery, a company that supplies new nickel iron batteries using the exact same technology as the old Edison batteries. Ones that many of you know for their history dating back as far as 1914 with the association of the Edison Illuminating Companies. Since the 1900s, Iron Edison batteries have had a foothold at the forefront of electrical storage where they continue to play a pivotal role in the production of off-grid batteries. Now we wanted to open this line of communication with the entire community because many of the viewers here don't have YouTube channels. They don't have a way to give their knowledge out to others. But you guys, the viewers, many of you have so much knowledge, so much more than any YouTube channel out there. And I want this to be an outlet for you to communicate with each other and help us and the entire community grow in our drive to be independent from, uh, you know, from the grid, independent from the need to plug something into the statewide or nationwide electrical company. So I want to talk about solar and wind generation. Now, solar is really all the bee's knees right now. Everybody knows solar. You can go get solar lights in your garden. You can uh, easily and pretty inexpensively put solar on your house, even if you just do it small to start and then scale things up as you're able to afford it. But not that many people talk about wind. I've done my own wind generation just on a very small scale with electronics that I built put together, soldered together myself to generate a very small amount of wind. Beyond that, I haven't done any wind power generation. So I want to know, is there a reason for this? Maybe it's an unknown or something that just isn't talked about in our community where wind generation just isn't efficient or the uh, return on investment, the cost that you, the money that you put into it doesn't get returned as quickly as solar. These are things that, sure, there's blog write-ups or uh, somebody's website says one thing or another, but usually that's with an agenda in mind. Usually they're trying to point you to wind is bad, here buy our solar. Solar is bad, buy our wind. I don't want that. I want to know what you guys have learned through trial and error. Maybe some people in our community have already spent bukus of money, tens of thousands of dollars on wind, and they wish they would have done solar. Maybe you've spent lots of money on solar and you are in an area where you say maybe wind was a better option for you. Now, I know we're going to get a lot of comments on diversification. That's what we saw with our propane versus solar video. Diversify. Don't have just one thing. When it fails, you're going to be completely stuck unless you have an exact duplicate ready to move with you wherever you need to go and implement. But with that diversification, do you see a, a challenge for doing wind? Do you see a reason not to do wind generation? I ask in particular because we're in an area up on top of a big hill in the mountainside, uh, the lower end of the Appalachian Trail, and we get a decent amount of wind here. So as we're planning our journey towards independent power generation, we're thinking more and more about how much do we want to put into solar? How much do we want to put into wind? We have a stream down the hill. Do we want to, uh, you know, make a, an agreement with our friend Dave up there and say, hey, let's generate some power using the stream together? Um, you know, all these different plans of action that we're putting into motion. But there's so much, so many unknowns. So I want to know, I'm asking your guys' help in the community, have you done wind? If you have, please leave a comment on what's the pros and the cons. Have you done solar because you found stuff out about wind that you didn't want to tackle? Please leave that in the comments. If you've only done solar and you have reasons for that, please leave that down there. Let us know, Kelly and I and our family, and also at the same time, let everybody in the entire community know what you've learned, the research you've done, and what direction you're taking because the research you've already done is going to help all of us grow in this journey towards independence. So thank you guys for allowing this to be an outlet where we can all communicate. 
not just to get information from Kelly and I, video creators, but from the entire community so that everybody can learn from it. That's really important to us because it's not just about us or one creator or the other. It's about the entire community and us all learning from each other. I'm humbled every day by everything that our viewers have learned and all the kindness that they have showed to us, our family, and everybody in the, in the whole community. So thank you guys for being awesome. And a special thanks to Iron Edison for helping open up this line of communication. When we talked with them, we thought of what's, what's the best way to see what the community needs and see what they want to know about independent power generation. And I think this is great just for us and for our entire off-grid or homesteading group. So please visit ironedison.com. They have representatives there that will answer any questions that you have, whether you're just considering solar, considering wind, just looking for batteries, just reach out to them and they'll be glad to help. As always, from Kelly and I to you and yours, stay safe and keep watch.